Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel. I'm Ofelia Orate, a principal owner of a school and tutorial center, a math teacher, and an author of 21 books. My most recent books are the following. College Entrance Reviewer Books 1 and 2, Core Concepts Reviewer for any high school, especially Science High School, PSHS Reviewer Volume 3 and 4, you can buy them online at Lazada and Shopee. My channel is about math tutorials which can help you with your entrance exams, SAT, and ordinary math class lessons. Please subscribe and click the bell button. Let's start! Pages. What if the question is 18 is what percent of 900? Again, read everyone, read it. 18 is what percent of 900? Good. So we use uh, equations again algebra. This is actually algebra class. Your grade six, but I'm already teaching you algebra. Why? Because this kinds of questions normally appear in any high school entrance exams, especially science high school exams. So, you just read the question and then do it step by step. 18, copy 18, is equals what? What? So it is a no. This is x. Percent, we have learned that percent is per hundred. Just like per Century. Century is 100. So percent per hundred of times 900. There. Now, what do you see? What is the denominator of 900? Gwen. One. One. Correct. Oh. Now, what do you see now here? What can be canceled? Miggy. Uh, 900 and 100. Very good. 900 divided by 100 is? 9 and 1. Yes, correct. 9 and 1. There, so we have here 9 times x is 9x. Over 1 times 1 is 1. You don't actually write 1 anymore, right? May I erase it? Yes. So 18 is equal to 9x. So how do we isolate x here? How do, we, how do we isolate x? We multiply the reciprocal of 9. Remember, 9 is 9 over 1. You multiply the reciprocal of 9, which is 1 over 9 on both sides. Both sides. Repeat. To isolate x, we multiply the reciprocal of 9, which is 1 over 9, on both sides of the equation. And then now we can cancel 9 and 9. Automatically, we get 1 here. So, 18 divided by 9 gives us 2. 9 divided by 9 gives us 1. So here, 1 times x times 1 is x. Over 1 times 1 is still x. Okay. And then 2 times 1 is 2 over 1. That gives us a 2. So x is equal to 2. Meaning, 18 is what percent? Is 2% of 900. Okay, did you get it? Did you get it? Yes. yes. Okay. okay, let's move on to our second example. 5 is what percent of 20? So we use a uh, linear equation or simple equations again. 5, so you just copy 5. Is 
equals what percent, so what x percent per hundred of times 20, 20. Let me repeat that. 5, 5 is equals what percent? So x per hundred. X per hundred is X percent of times 20. So what do we do here? So we know that 20 is 20 over 1. You always have to remember that. Huh? Now, we see that 20 and 100 are cancelable. The co greatest common factor is 20. So 20 divided by 20 is 1, 100 divided by 20 is 5, correct. So we have here 5 is equal to x over 5. Now, x has to be isolated again. So we have to multiply both sides by 5, there. By multiplication property of equality, you're allowed to multiply the same number to both sides of an equation. As we can see here, 5 means 5 over 1. So you can write over 1 so you won't get confused. Then 5 and 5 are cancelable, so we cancel them, we get 1 here and 1 here. So now we have x times 1 is x over 1 times 1 is 1. So, 5 times 5 is 25. So, the final answer is x is equal to 25. Then, now, uh, if you do not want to use point as a notation for multiplication, you can use parentheses so that this will not look like 5.5. Okay? You can simply use parentheses. Okay? So that it denotes multiplication. Oh, is that crystal clear? Yes. yes. Okay. Now, we do the exercises. Get your core concept tutorial and exam reviewer. Do the following exercises on page 6, Roman number 12. Before we end, you always have to remember to add kindness, subtract judgment, Multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Don't forget to click the bell button and subscribe. Thank you.